Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a quick look at Hedgerows 2. Uh, this game's just come out in a early release lag testing state. It's brand new, it's amazing, and you guys should totally go check it out. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoy the video. So welcome to Hedgerows everyone, well Hedgerows 2. This is... This is a very, very nice game. I've been playing this game for like, oh, I don't know, five hours now? Five, I've played it for five hours. Overall, probably. And I'm enjoying it far too much. Oh my god, the round has ended. Anyways, uh, this game is in a an early testing state. A lag, we, we're do, they're doing lag testing at the moment. I believe just checking out the game performs, uh, testing some random stuff. Um, maybe just some ping as well, ping testing to see how it handles on their servers. Which is absolutely amazing considering what this game is <laughs> and what it, how it performs. This game is more of a realism game, so you're not going to be looking at some random game modes like Team Deathmatch. You're not going to be looking at that in this game. This game is more of a, a realism and an immersive game. A game that really just captures a different aspect to most FPSs. Most FPSs are fast paced, and this one is no, by no means a slow paced game, but it's not as fast paced as the rest. Again, it's more uh, certainly built over realism to any other aspect, but it does this amazingly. And uh, in my opinion, it is the most realistic game I've seen on Roblox ever. The tree, uh, the, everything in this game shines. The trees look amazing. The grass, the way the shadows fall off the grass looks amazing. The water looks amazing. <laughs> the guns, or the rifles, look amazing. Everything about this game is so well built, it doesn't feel like Roblox anymore. Obviously all this comes at a, a quite a significant disadvantage, being the performance. A lot of people have had issues. A lot of people have been saying, ah, oh, 20 FPS and such, but it's manageable if you play long range. This is all being worked on, I assume, optimized and stuff for the game's uh, final release, which is good. Which means that people on lower end systems can play this game quite well. So I don't know the full statistics on how this game... Is that dude dead? So I, I don't know the full... Uh, like the round lengths or anything, I don't really pay attention to those. I, it might be half an hour. <laughs> I say might be. Because I just play. I didn't. So we're going over a couple things I find absolutely awesome about this game. The first one, first big big one, is the look of this game. It looks amazing, as I've already said. And I don't really need to say much other than it it's, looks amazing, because it does. I wouldn't say I'm lost for words, but I'd say that there aren't many words that can describe it. There's a couple things that, again, you probably need to be changed. Just small things. It's got the big picture, right? But again, small things. Like when I'm scoping in here, you can see my scope. You can see like the the little rings of my scope. <laughs> I've actually had to record this video four times now. I've been having technical difficulties, but I literally, I love doing it. I love recording this video over and over again it, because I get to play this game and talk about it, and talk about what I love about it. And there's not many games that can. In my books, there's not many games so far that I've found that can do that. Apparently I just hit that dude. Oh, he might still be alive. No, he's not. He's, de he's definitely dead. But yeah, a another glitch I've come across with the snipers, at least, is... I'm going to get out of the way so I don't get shot on explaining this. If I would like to reload... Say I have three bullets and I don't have any bullets. If I want to reload... I can reload fictitious bullets. Three. I've just reloaded three fake bullets. I still have three bullets. This also happens when I have zero bullets and I would like to reload. It does the animation, but I don't I'm just reloading fake bullets, which is wonderful. I actually have one shot left. I need to hit this. This is this is a nice bridge. It's very nice. Very nice wood. Oh my god. So uh <laughs> that dude kinda did like a couple backflips. Um probably against his own will. Yeah. It needs a couple of fine tuning, so to speak. And I'm trash. Had this dude not almost just died to me, I've got a piss on my man. <laughs> so I'm very low health, and I fear for my life. 
in this game you can just run. If you're under if you're under fire, you can just be like, nope, and you can just hop into this bush. And then you can shoot people in the bush. Hello. He doesn't even know where I am, watch. Oh he might know, he might know. Okay, he knew where I was. This is the menu screen you get on when you first hop on the game. Very nice, very neat. Got these cool little things here for everything. So for primary weapons, you've got the MP40, the Gear 43, the Enfield number 4, the Sten Gun, the Car 98K, and the rest. If they don't have previews, again, it's being worked on, chill. The MG42, the Charka, the Bren Mark 2 or 11, depends. Oh, and the Smith & Wesson LR M1914. So yeah, this is the weapon I've been rocking, the Car 98K, with the ZF39 scope. It's my favourite scope. I like using it. There's the um, the Enfield rifle as well with the number 32 scope, which looks okay, but I prefer the cars. And there's this thing with the ZF4 scope, which looks nice, but not as nice as my car. The Sten Gun MP40, they have just basic like uh, pillad attachments. It's quite cool. Probably not available in the day. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute. There's a barrel attachment, but I can't find anything that has the barrel attachment. So. I'm gonna assume that nothing has it at the moment because it's in such an early state. For secondaries, we have the Walter PP, P, I, the, the Walter PP, the Webley MK6, and the high power. The high power is just like this, but with uh, with more ammo. And this is like a revolver-based weapon. With knives, there's a scroll wheel, which gets me excited, but there's only one knife at the moment. Equipment like healing. You've got the Bloxy Cola, which you can heal yourself, or you can go around as a heal main and syringe people. Pretty sick. For explosives, we have the number 69. I don't know why that's called that. I'm sure someone knows. I'm sure someone cares too. So we're gonna rock the MP40 because I've used enough snipers. So another thing I love about this game is the noises. The noises of this game, again, complement the looks. They are very nice, they're very clean, and they sound genuine. I don't know if they are, just completely genuine. I don't know if they've gone into like a warehouse and just like loaded an MP40, but you know they could have. No points off. It sounds amazing. Just a thing I've noticed like just now is that when you scope in, it, the scope kind of pops into sight. It doesn't like smooth in. It kind of just like pop, pop, pops into sight. It doesn't. Uh, it's not very realistic. I'm sure they're working on that. If I die to this dude, I swear to God. Oh please, 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 how did I survive that? Holy, I want so low health, I need some Bloxy Cola. So you can press 3 to bring up your equipment. I didn't bring Bloxy, bruh. I don't have any. So you can press 1 to go to your primary, 2 to your secondary. It takes a while, and then 3 to your equipment. And F for your knife, and G for your grenade, etc, etc. I'm dead, wow. So other interesting mechanics is the crouch mechanic it's c to crouch and c to prone like lie down but then you can't press c to get back up and you can't press space you actually have to press x to like uh, crouch and then x to run again yeah. yeah okay again it's fine but uh it makes sense it's different but it makes sense so i'm gonna have a lot of fun in this game i uh, probably do a couple more videos on it just like Mainly sniping videos. I'm showing the autos at the moment, so you can just get a feel of how it is to play autos and above 30 FPS if you have like a low-end rig or something. I'm probably going to get instantly murdered because I have I don't go CQC at all. There is a football. Oh my god! <laughs> that you just blew up. Oh my god! That's so cool. Hi. There's another dude here. Oh hi. The recoil in this game is probably my favourite of any game. It feels really nice and genuine. It feels like you're actually having to fight it, opposed to it doing the fighting itself in other games. Oh, hello. No, don't reload. Yeah, you can't cancel reloading, and I've learned that the hard way multiple times. I still haven't learned. Other things I found out about this game. Uh, you can press P to like get your menu just away, so you can just like rock straight up. Uh, nothing. You can just be like, yeah, woo. You don't have to uh, have any menus in the way. It can be fully immersive. The only thing now they need is a VR. Then it'd be like, oh. so yeah, I'm gonna leave that on because I value seeing my health bar. What's something else you can do, of course. You can lean in this game. You can lean. You can be like this. 
I'm not used to it. <laughs> I don't play like decent games, so I don't know what it is to be used to it. It sounded like there was a dude right here. Okay. But yeah, if you're in a stick situation, you want to lean and kill someone, you can. And I'm being shot at. That's really rude. Oh, it's you. How rude. I knew I, I knew I heard someone shooting. But yeah, if you're in a stick situation, as I just was, ironically, you can just go bang bang. Or you can do a standing up, doesn't really matter. You can lean, oh, leaning it, it's really nice and smooth. I'm so happy this game has this, because it just adds, again, another hint of realism. That dude just got absolutely bummed. Oh wait, he's still alive? No, it, keep, it sounds like he is. That dude is so easy to kill. Wow, dude, no one heals you. You have to bleed out. You have to die to respawn. Ugh, imagine. Another thing that I love about this game, it makes just like ugh, the tiniest bit. It's the tiniest thing, but it makes it so amazing. You can't clip through walls with weapons. Who sold their soul to make this game? Look at this. Look at that. You can do this. Oh, I can aim. I'm probably gonna die. But you can't. Who did this? Who did this? Who did this? Was it you? I don't know why there are like patches of snow, but I, I, I can vibe with it. I don't. I don't know. There are like random patches of snow everywhere. It may make sense in some context, but I don't know the context. It's quite a large map, which is really good because it's a good way to show off the sniper rifles. And I can't get over this. These trenches need a complete revamp because I'm trying to jump over it, and I'm like. No, it doesn't want to do it. I get stuck sometimes. Just like animations and movements just need to be a bit more carefully examined, just a bit more finalised. I didn't... What? What? Yeah, I prefer sniping, I think. We'll grab another weapon. We'll grab... Well, shall we grab a... this thing? Because I thought... Yeah, I thought, I thought I knew what this thing was. It's like a Sten gun, but it's not. It's like fatter and longer. And it's like... Very built for purpose. Quite a decent fire rate if you if you uh, trigger finger to do that. Oh wow! <laughs> we use the MG42. We'll just we'll just have some fun with this. The MG42 is a great example of how good it can look, how good the metal looks, because it looks amazing. It's all cool shiny. It's got like little, I think it's like condensation marks on it, but it looks amazing. It looks real. Uh, other games won't get close to this. Even it's even it's in its like early access release. It's in its test phase, and it's better than most games I've played. Again, who sold their soul to make this game? This thing's impossible to use. I don't expect to get any kills with this. I'll just show you. I want to kill this dude. Reload, reload, reload. Get down. Reload animation for this is really nice too. Anything else I have to say about this game? Uh, honestly, I think I've gone over everything. If you guys have anything else that you want me to talk about, uh, pop it in the description. And also tell me what you think about this game in the description. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you'd like about this game. And how and things you don't like about this game too. I'd, I'd love to get an insight on that. It's show me where this game's going, uh, developer-wise, what they'll do to this game. At the moment, I don't know. So yeah, that's uh, that's been Hedgerows 2, everybody. I mean, uh, again, tell me what you think of this game in the description. I'd love to know. Anyway, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you like the video. Other links will be in the description, as always. And I will see you all in the next one.